joy and be led forth with peace. And the mountains and hills shall break forth into singing before you. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress or the fir tree. And instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle. And it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign. What sign? When I pour out my spirit all over you. When you become an abundance in every situation. Even in the driest desert place. You become an overwhelming abundance of life and joy and peace and power. It's going to be a testimony and a sign. For an everlasting sign, and I love this part, no more coming in and coming out. No more little, little brie and breast, but non-stop perpetual move of God. A sign that shall not be cut off. Moving past the days of little refreshings and then nothing. But well, we're going to start moving the days truly of glory to glory to glory to glory to glory to glory. Someone say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Say, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I got a funny feeling. Something, I, I'll just do whatever God wants. You want to know, can I tell you, you want to know what the Holy Spirit asked me last night? Go ahead. He said, he asked me a question, because, you know, we're only nine and a half months old. The church has grown tremendous. I know people come from very different backgrounds, and we have not held back here at all. But he said, are, are you willing to let me move in such a way, and you're going to have to keep just up and leave because it's too immense? <laughs> He didn't say you're going to leave. He just said, are you willing? Yeah. I love you. I don't want you to go. I locked the doors already. <laughs> I said, you better believe it. I'm not interested in the kooky. To be kooky. The extreme to be extreme. I want encounters that change me. Yes, amen. Yes. I want encounters that change you. Yes. We need it. The world needs it. Yes, the world needs you to have an upper room. Yes, the world needs you to have a burning bush. Yes, the world needs you to have an experience in a fiery furnace or a lion's den. The world needs you to walk out of a heavenly encounter. The world needs you to have angelic visitations. The world needs you to be caught away in spirit and see the glory of God. The world needs you. Father, have your way. Does everybody say, Father, have your way. better to sacrifice in every area. In every area, in our finances. Guys, don't ever let the devil rip you off in the midst of circumstances to cause you to be disobedient in your faithfulness to God. Rather here or anywhere else because of circumstances. I'm not going to allow my disobedience in finances to stop my connection with God. Amen. Ushers, if you come forward. And then I want to share with you one more verse. I was going to say, is, it, is, is that okay this morning, but I love you too much to even care. <laughs> Father, one of the promises that you've shown me is that when this thing happens, the gold and the silver of the world is going to come into the hands of the church, into the hands of your people for your plans and your purposes. And Father, that it'll be a sign and a testimony. It'll be a sign and a testimony. God bless your people. Mm. Just put your hand on your offer right now and say, I'll receive the blessing of the Lord. 
I like to speak life, but don't speak over your, I stop speaking over your bills and saying I can't afford and all that. I like to speak life over my finances. Enough of the world speaking dead. All you have to do is turn on the news and they speak dead over your time. I'm going to speak life. In the mighty name of Jesus, everybody said,